Hello and welcome, I'm King Zakree, and this is Romero's Aftermath. Uh, hey, there's an RV over there. We're gonna go check that out. So, are you prepared to survive the apocalypse? Probably not. So, there we go. We got some zombies. This is a very, like, uh, zombie survival sandbox multiplayer thing. And I'm just a dude with a backpack. And, uh, remarkable resilience and resistance and... Strength and skill. There's such a weird sound effect. Uh, one of the things I have noted about noted about this game was that there's like sound effects for everything. Hitting this bench, ooh, charcoal. Hitting the ground. Hitting this metal grill. Pretty nice. I really like that. It's evidently wood. Surprised his tires are still on this thing. Uh, plastic plates, okay. And nothing else. That was kind of disappointing. Where's my gun? My gun, man. That's so freaking weird. It's like a gunshot. Uh, there looks like there's a statue in there. So I've I've actually tried to do this quick look review thing like about five different times. Because the game keeps crashing because it's in like the early stages of the beta. So that's something to be aware about is uh, you maybe don't want to full dive jump into this game just yet because there are game breaking uh, what? Stand here at your own risk? Well, I'm afraid it's going to uh, crash again so I'm just going to get out of there. So this game is Jai freaking Normous. I mean just look at the, the scale of this thing this game just the architecture and modeling is just ginormous which would be great in like a car game where you go across it at nice speeds uh but i'm just like and i'm running and this is how fast i'm going it's gonna take me forever to get anywhere it's like it's big to a fault you know and unfortunately this guy doesn't move completely it's a completely static image which is kind of unfortunate. I really like moving clouds in games. Looks like there's more statues over there. What is with all the statues? Seriously, is that supposed to be like a landmark? And this area is very strange. It's like it's like it's Africa and Arizona combined. Very strange. With the like the tree uh, over there. The strange rock formations all around me. So this is a newbie server that I'm in, so I can't actually kill people, which is kind of unfortunate. That's kind of the fun part of these games, really. You can harvest stuff, I guess, but uh, we should probably take a peek into that crafting system. Uh, but everything is locked for some reason. I, I have no idea why. I want to make like a gun, but it's all locked. I don't know how to unlock it. I'm just like... Like, I've played this game for like two hours already now, because of all the crashes. Um, and I haven't made any progress whatsoever. I've, I've collected some like useless materials that I can't use with anything. That's about it. I keep trying to find- there's, it says there's 120 people in the server. And I think I've only met up with maybe two people in total. Both of whom I tried to kill. <laughs> But you can't, because it's a newbie server. Looks like there's some, some green over here. Yeah, alright. It's a pretty rough transition between desert and forest, but... Whatevs. I'm just looking for anything that moves. There's no animals or other wildlife. It's all zombies. And all the zombies are really poorly modeled. Which is really strange, because, I mean... Zombies aren't that hard to model. And the animations are all really wonky, too. Like, even if this guy's punching animation is really rough. Needs a lot more tweening between the frames. Between the start and the end frame, anyway. Lots and lots of pop-up. Like, within my sight, I'm seeing... Like, even close to me, I'm seeing lots of pop-up. Like, right there! There's so much pop-up. Just sprouting from the ground like it's, uh... It's growing. I wish there was like a like a zoom in on one spot kind of like 
look. But I haven't mastered the the controls. There might be something like that. So far, I've only discovered crouch, jump, attack. Let's see what these statues are about. I wonder if it's going to pop me up with a message again. Nope, no message. Just three random ass statues. I can't actually claim it, so what is even the point? Why is there even statues? Uh, uh, it's just... I've watched some DayZ and it seems like it's a lot better than what this is trying to offer. And this doesn't really do anything different, really. I'm assuming that the crafting system is like... It's supposed to be, it's, it's, uh, call to fame or something like that or whatever. It's, and maybe the, the scope of the entire world. But, like, I want to explore, like, I'm like out in a desert. This is like a wildlife survival course, not a zombie thing. And it's called Romero's Aftermath, so you'd think you'd be, like, in a mall or something. There'd be more zombies, a more imminent threat of zombies. There should be, like, huge swaths of zombies following you all the time. Ooh, that's interesting, but let's go to the airport. I want to go to the airport. There's a symbol over there on the right side. Zombie infested? Oh, well, I'm out of stamina. Oh, okay. There was a guy I was chasing, and he kept stopping and slowing down. Uh, excuse me, slowing down, and I was wondering why. That's because you can run out of stamina. Trying to see what that symbol says. It looks like a battery, and then it says maybe one versus one. Or maybe that's just a connection symbol. So it says zombie infested. Percent of zombie killed, so I have to kill all the zombies for a prize. My frame rate is tanked. And this gives me 10%. I may hear everything, but. It's still 0%, what? Let's just explore this and die, I guess, and then I'll finish it off. So I think in general, I'd give this game like a 6. It's just not that impressive in any form or fashion. Uh, this, the, the modeling of the world is okay, but it's so basic. And it's wide open. There's like nothing in it. Like, this is such a strange configuration. There's nothing whatsoever in here. Very strange. Not very well done. But at the base level, it does look pretty good. And this is uh, with my not so great laptop. You can uh, upgrade the settings a lot more. And the frame rate is on my side. Not because the game is not is uh, poorly optimized or whatever. Optimized is probably the wrong word, but you know what I mean. It'll run better on better computers and look better. But the sound effects are still wonky. Animations are wonky. The whole thing is just not. It's lacking a lot of polish. Looks like there's already some dead zombies over there. Is that some kind of train? Already has fuel? What is it supposed to be fueling up? Are you supposed to connect something to it? What is this? Nothing. Generator working fine. I don't get it. What are you supposed to hook up to that thing? Maybe a car or something? I imagine you're supposed to come in here with like a group or something, but it, everything is empty. There's nothing here. <laughs> uh, six out of ten. It's not that great. Just play Daisy or something. Even though this is free to play, just it's so basic. Anyway, I've been Kings Creek. I'm gonna play the Thanks for watching.